Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jake Teaches Uke. Today I'll be teaching Santana's Europa on the ukulele. That includes the chord progression and all the solos that go with it. So I'll show you how it goes. First, I'm going to show you the chord progression and the strum pattern. You're going to start off with a G minor. You put your index finger on the A string, first fret, C string, second fret with the middle finger, and then third fret, E string with the ring finger. So that's the strum pattern is down, up chunk, up, up, up chunk, up, down. And you switch uh, notes between playing the pattern again and you go to a C7, which you take everything else off except for your index finger on the A string. So those first two notes. So from the C7, you switch to an F. It's your index finger on the E string, first fret, and middle finger on the G string 2nd fret. And that's the strum pattern there, is down, up, chunk, up, down, down, up, chunk, up, down. And in between that you just switch to an A minor, so you just take off your index finger. So the first four chords. So after the A minor, you're going to make a D minor. So you're going to place your index finger right here on the first fret E string. And what I like to do is bend my middle finger where it's covering the top two strings on the second fret. You can also play it like this. But this is what I like to do. So after the A minor, you play through the entire pattern and you switch to a G minor, the first chord you made. So from the D minor. Now what you're going to do there is place your index finger on the C string first fret, that's called an A7. through the entire strum pattern. Then you're going to go to another D minor. So you're going to play pretty much half the pattern on D minor, A7 again, D minor. So this is the entire pattern.
right after you play the D minor, and that's where the solos come in. All right, this is the first solo. What you're gonna do is you're gonna bar the last two strings on the third fret and pluck the E string and slide up to the fifth fret. And you're gonna pluck the A string fifth fret, seventh fret A string, eighth fret A string, seventh, fifth, so. So right there you go back to the E string on the 5th fret and then the 6th fret E string. Let's do it again. Then you're going to move back to the 3rd fret again. What you're going to do is play the 3rd fret, E string, 3rd fret, A string, then the 5th fret, A string, 7th fret, A string, 5th fret, A string, 3rd, A string, and then 3rd, E string. It's really hard to explain. Like this, slow. Next, you're going to do the same thing, moving back two more frets. So the same fingering is up here. Just move back two frets. Then you're going to play, you're going to hold that and play the E string, third fret, four times. One, two, three, four. First fret, E string. And then open E string. So that last pattern. One, two, three, four. Then what you're gonna do is a hammer on. So you're gonna pluck an open A string. Hammer on with your index finger on the first fret A string. Just like that. Then you're going to play 3rd fret E string, 1st fret E string, open E string. So. And you're going to play 1st fret C string, 2nd fret C string. And that's the entire solo. So let's take it from the beginning of the solo very slowly. Two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one. Now the second solo starts pretty much the same as the first. Start on the third fret, holding down the first two strings. What you're gonna do is slide up to the fifth fret again. Just like that. But then you're gonna jump all the way up to the tenth fret with your middle finger. And then slide up to the thirteenth fret on the A string. Then you're going to bar the 10th fret and strum through, pluck through with your thumb. And then your thumb is going to play, thumb is going to play C string, index finger on E, middle on A. So it's... One more time. So after this, your index finger is going to come back to the 
8th fret E string, your middle fingers on the 9th fret G string, ring finger on the 10th fret C string, and 10th fret A string with your pinky. So it's like this. So just work on practicing that transition between this and then this. Whenever you come back here, you're going to strum through with your thumb and then play the same thing with your thumb, index, and middle. So it's... Next, what you're going to do, your index finger is going to stay the same, but it's going to bar the last two strings. And your middle finger is going to go up to the ninth fret C string, and then 10th fret is going to be ring finger G string. So from this to this. Again, same. But right after that, you're going to switch to this. From here, you're dropping back one fret and you're taking off your index finger is not going to be holding down the last two strings anymore it's just going to be holding down the A string then your index I mean your middle finger is going to be on the E string ring finger on the C string and this is between 7, 8 and 9 so it's Again. From there, you're just going to bar the 5th fret and play the same thing. So let's take it from the beginning to what we know. So in between this, you're just plucking with your index and your thumb. Just like that. All right? And you drop back to the fifth. So after the fifth fret, you're going to do the same fingering you did down here. Just back here at the fifth through seventh fret. So index on A, middle on E, and then ring on C between 5th and 7th fret. So from here. Next, after this, you're going to drop back to the 3rd fret E string with your index finger, middle finger on C string 4th fret, and then ring finger on A string 4th fret as well. Same plucking pattern. Then what you're going to do is bar the 5th fret again, go back to that same one, and then end with just a strum down the 5th fret. And that's it. So it's... Alright, let's take it really slow from all, all the way up here. That first thing you... That first chord you make with the barred 10th fret and then ring or middle finger on the 13th A string. So. That's the second solo. Now this is the beginning of the last solo. What you're going to do 
is place your middle finger on the second fret C string. Pluck with your thumb. Play an open E string with your thumb. First fret E string with your thumb. So it starts. Next, your ring finger is going to play the E string third fret and then slide up to the fifth. So, beginning is. Let's do it again. So, after you come up to the fifth, you're going to play second fret C string twice and then slide up again with your middle finger from the third fret E string. So the, from the beginning from the beginning next you're gonna do the same thing again except you're just gonna pluck the C string once it repeats a lot, so let's try and take it slow from the beginning. Twice. Once. Let's do it again. Next, you're going to play an open C string. Third fret E string. And what you're going to do is you're going to play the E string alternating between 1st and 3rd fret. So, Open C string, 3rd fret, E string, 1st fret, 3rd fret, 1st fret, E string. Then you're going to slide up to 5th again and what you're going to do different here is you're going to come down to the A string and hold it down on the third fret with your index finger. So, so from the open C string, so it repeats. It does that twice. And then on the third time, you're going to pluck twice on the A string. So let's take it really slow from the open C string. What you're going to do there is instead of playing the A string once, you're going to pluck it twice, still holding the third fret, or um, the fifth fret. E string, so it goes. So your ring finger is going to come off the fifth fret E string and play the fifth fret A string. All right, so let's take it slow from the open C string again. So that last pattern is A, A, 3rd fret, 5th fret, E, 3rd fret, A, 5th fret, A, 3rd fret, A. Then you're going to play 5th fret, 3rd fret, A, 5th fret, 3rd fret, E. and you're going to drop back with the index finger so to the first fret E then second fret C string so it goes then third fret E string again so let's let's take it slow that, that little run, starting from the 5th fret A string. Okay?
take it even slower. All right, so let's take it from the open C string. That sounded like ASMR. So once you reach the third fret E string again, you're gonna slide up to the fifth. You're gonna slide up to the fifth, then pluck once on the C string second fret and slide up again from the 3rd fret E string and then you pluck 2nd fret C string, 3rd fret E string. So let's, I'll show you, I know it's kind of confusing so I'll show you from the beginning of the solo and I'll play it super slow. And then you're going to do the same thing from the first solo, which is the hammer on. Remember that? This pattern took me a long time to get, so just keep on rewatching it and slow it down if you need to. Just you want to get it right. Let me do it again for you. Now this song is designed to be a duet, so what I suggest is coercing someone to get into this weird instrument and have them learn the, the rhythm part. And so you can solo and then you all can trade off. So Thank you so much for watching and thanks to all the new subscribers, it's been pretty cool. Um, also consider subscribing because I have more videos on the way. I might be getting back into video game music as well. So Also, doesn't this sound like goosebumps? Mm -hmm.